title of the first section is graphing inequalities. First problem is x is less than 5. When we're graphing inequalities with a single variable, the graph will just be on a single number line. There are several ways to draw a number line. One possible solution how you can draw this number line is the answer 5. We can put in the middle of the number line. And I'll put one number to the right, which is 6, and one number to the left, which is 4. If you want to, you could start your number line at 0 and count up to 5, or have several different numbers on there. To graph inequalities, inequalities will uh, have circles, either open circles or closed circles. In this case, we have the less than symbol. The less than symbol is a open circle. The open circle for this graph I'll put above the number line. If you want to, you could put the circle on top of the number line. And the last part for the graph, the line will either go to the left or to the right. In this case, again, we have less than, x is less than 5, meaning we want these smaller numbers, which will go to the left. And that would be the graph for the inequality, x is less than 5. Second question and last question for the section. y is greater than or equal to negative 3. And again, graphing a single variable means we can draw a single number line. The number of graphing negative 3 I'll put in the middle of the number line and we'll put one number on the right of negative 3 which is negative 2 and one number on the left of negative 3 which is negative 4. For the circle again you can either have a open circle or a closed circle. In this case we have greater than or equal to. Anytime you have the or equal to or line underneath the inequality the circle will be a closed or solid circle. And the last part to the graph, the line either goes to the left or to the right. In this case, greater than or equal to, the line will go to the right. And that's the graph for y is greater than or equal to negative 3. The title of the next section of notes is Solving and Graphing Inequalities. In this section, again, we'll be solving first, and our answer will be able to graph the inequality on a number line like the previous section. First question, is n plus 4 greater than or equal to negative 7? And again, we'll solve the inequality. After we solve, we'll graph on a number line. We have n plus 4. To isolate n or solve for n, we want to get rid of the plus 4 which we can subtract 4 on both sides. The 4's would cancel. The inequality stays the same when you subtract numbers. Negative 7 minus 4 would be negative 11. And our answer n is greater than or equal to negative 11. Second part again, we'll graph each answer. Negative 11 put in the middle of the number line. To the right of negative 11 is negative 10, and to the left is negative 12. Again, for these graphs, we have open circles or closed circles. Anytime you have the line underneath the inequality or equal to, 
that means it's a closed or solid circle. And n is greater than or equal to negative 11. Greater than or equal to would be the numbers to the right ones. Second question and last question for the section. 3y plus 6 divided by 2 is less than 3y plus 6. Solving this equation or inequality, at the beginning we have variables on both sides, so we want to move those over to one side. Also we have a fraction that uh, contains the variable y, so we can cancel out or get rid of that fraction. If we have 3y plus 6 divided by 2, what we can do is multiply by 2. That way it will cancel out the fraction, and the right side of the inequality will multiply by the same number, multiplying by 2. The 2's on the left-hand side would cancel, so we're left with 3y plus 6. If we multiply by a positive 2, the inequality stays the same. And distribute out the 2, we'll be left with 6y plus 12. From here we can solve. Putting all the y's on the left-hand side, subtract 6y. 3y minus 6y would be negative 3y. Plus 6, less than 12. These 6y's would cancel. And subtracting 6 on both sides, negative 3y. Less than 12 minus 6 would be 6. And last step, divide by negative 3. Negative 3's would cancel. And one extra step on this part, when you divide by a negative number, the inequality would switch directions. 6 divided by negative 3 would be negative 2. The rule on inequalities, if you divide by a negative number, or if you multiply by a negative number, the inequality would flip. So our answer y is greater than negative 2. And again, the second part, we'll graph each one of these. Negative 2 will be the number I'll put in the middle of the number line. Negative 1 goes on the right, and negative 3 to the left. We have open and closed circles. This one is greater than. Greater than would be an open circle. It's not equal to. And y greater than negative 2, greater than or bigger numbers go to the right. The title of the last section today is Write and Solve an Inequality. First problem for this section is the product of 12 and a number is greater than 36. So math vocabulary, the word product means to multiply. So it would be multiplying 12 and a number. A number is a number that we do not know yet. Anytime you have a number that you do not know in math, you can use the variable x. Is greater than would be the inequality greater than 36. To write the inequality, we'll have the product. Again, we're multiplying 12 times a number, or 12 times x, which would be 12x. Is greater than would be the greater than symbol and greater than 36. So the inequality is 12x greater than 36. Second part, we're going to solve the inequality. 12x, you can divide by 12 on both sides. And we'll be left with x. The inequality stays the same when you divide by a positive number. Only switches when you divide or multiply by a negative number. 36 divided by 12 would be 3. 
and our answer is x is greater than 3. Second question and last question for the section. 3 less than twice a number is at most 5. Some more vocabulary. 3 less than, the phrase less than without the word is in front of it. Less than would be smaller or the operation subtraction. Twice a number. Twice means to double or multiply by 2. And again, the phrase a number we can replace with a variable like x. Is at most 5. At most means the biggest it can be is 5. So the answer will have to be 5 or a number less than 5. To write the inequality, 3 less than, again, means we'll be subtracting 3. When we subtract 3, that will come at the end of the expression, minus 3. We are taking away 3 from twice a number. Twice, again, would be double or times 2. And a number that we don't know, we can use the variable x. So 3 less than twice a number would be 2x minus 3. Is at most 5? That means the highest it can be is 5. It must be 5 or less. In terms of inequalities, that means it has to be less than or equal to 5. So the inequality 2x minus 3 less than or equal to 5. And the last part, solving this inequality, solving for x. We can add 3 on both sides. 2x is less than or equal to 8. And dividing by 2, x. The inequality stays the same, less than or equal to, whenever you divide by a positive number, 4. So the answer, x, is less than or equal to 4.